On Tile Planner, when a new project is opened, the floor plan shows a simple square room which is completely empty at the moment except for the light source in the middle of the room. On the right hand side of the screen, we can see the project info area where we can fill in the available fields with data about our project. Starting from this simple floor plan, we can make all the changes we need to create the desired layout of our room. We can click on walls and drag them to the desired position. In alternative, we can enter the precise dimension of the wall. We can also decide which of the two vertices, the blue one or the pink one, we want to stay fixed and which one we want to move. We have the split wall option for creating a new point that breaks our wall in two pieces that can be moved individually. We can create angled walls. We can model our room moving walls as we prefer. Also, we can use the Add Inner Wall option which lets us create a wall within the interior of our room. Internal walls can be modified the same way as perimeter walls. When we click on a wall, we can create a masonry object such as a half wall or a platform. Like all objects we insert into our project, a half wall can be moved around the interior of the room and rotated as desired and will snap to nearby walls. When the half wall is selected and we therefore see it outlined in green, we can modify its size and eventually its distance from nearby corners. Let's start inserting the furniture in our project. We can insert doors and windows, selecting the dedicated category and choosing the item that we want to insert. Doors and windows are configurable objects, which means that we can modify their size, their finish, the direction they open and all other parameters, which we can see in the menu on the right side of the screen. Let's proceed by inserting a window as well. Let's pick a toilet and insert it into our scene. We can move the items around our room to position them correctly, dragging them around our floor plan. Once inserted into our project, items can be rotated using the arrows that appear at the sides of the item. Using the same method, we can search for any item and place it in our project. Just like with doors and windows, we have the possibility to work with configurable furnishing items within Tile Planner as well. Let's choose the category Vanities and Mirrors. For example, we can choose the Lotus Collection and select the items we want to insert. From our 3D navigation view, we can check the composition. To move around our navigation, we can use the zoom wheel to move closer or farther away. We can move around the interior of our project using our mouse. With the left button, we can rotate the entire room. And with the right button, we can move our point of view without rotating. Let's complete the composition by choosing the finishing from those available from the right side of the screen. We can choose whether to assign it to a single item or to all the items in our composition and to customize the sink as well. In Tile Planner, once we've built our project, we can add flooring and wall tile to the surfaces of our room. Let's start by selecting the Tile section in our left-hand menu and then choose the Wood category. Here we'll find all the products available with the selected effect. Once we've dragged the product onto the surface, we can swap out the applied material until we find the perfect one. And once we've inserted our product in the menu on the right, we can open an interactive 3D visualization of the product to examine the finish of the material and its surface in detail. In the menu on the right, we can also change the grout width and color and the position and direction of the tile. We can simulate more complex installations very easily as well using the parametric lane patterns available in the Patterns section on the menu. 
that are many available, and once we've found the one we want, we just drag it onto an empty surface or even directly onto a surface that has already been tiled. Patterns like this one are for multiple products, even ones of different sizes. This pattern uses three tiles. The tile already in the scene has been kept and we can continue to swap the tiles within the lane pattern until we reach the desired result. For vertical surfaces, the program will install products in horizontal rows. When we drop the tile onto the surface, only one row is applied at the bottom of the wall. We can increase or decrease the height of this installation. Also, we can create different horizontal rows, selecting a product and dragging it onto our wall. If we want to delete the tiling from this wall, or even just one of the rows of tile that have been applied, we can click on the wall and select the appropriate command. We can also view our wall in 2D. Here we are able to change the applied wall tiling with the Select and Replace option. In this case, we select the tiles we want to change and then drag a new one to replace them. Once we've finished tiling a wall, we can apply the same tiling to all walls in the room with a simple click. When clicking on any surface, we can create a tiling area. Let's specific the size of the area and then place it on the surface. Once we have positioned it correctly, we can drag and drop the product that we want to view within our tiling area. On the parts of our walls that haven't been tiled, we can apply a color by selecting the wall and choosing from among the available materials. Once our project has been completed, we can save it by clicking Save in the top left of the header toolbar. We can also generate a project summary document, selecting the content that we want to view. This allows us to have a list of the items used in the project, including their product info and the quantity used. 